Hey there, it's Elizabeth here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an exciting tutorial for you. A bit of a departure from my usual rec room tutorials, but hopefully just as interesting and useful. I've been delving into the world of artificial intelligence and I've found it to be a really fun and simple way to explore my own creativity, but also learn more about AI and how it works. AI is controversial, I know, but I think it's important to learn about it so you're not left behind when the technology progresses. What I'm about to show you is how I've used AI to recreate my rec room avatar in unique styles. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll also be ready to embark on your own AI driven creative adventures. The very first thing you need to do is get a clear picture of your full rec room avatar. The best way I've found to do this is to open Rec Room in screen mode. When you're waiting to join a room on screen mode, a cute little version of your avatar pops up on the loading screen in various poses. Sometimes you have to join a few different rooms to get the pose that you want. My favorite by far is this laser bits here with her heart eyes looking all excited. So just print screen and then paste it into paint or whatever program you use and crop it down as far as you can. Then just use a background remover to quickly get rid of any color or lines from behind and then save it. You can Google free background removers or just use Canva or something like that. So now I'm going to show you what I do with two different AI programs. One is free and one is paid. The free one is where I got my current profile picture from, so it's still really good. It just doesn't come out in as high a quality as the paid version. So the first version that I'm showing you is the Bing AI chatbot. To access this free bot, you just need to open up the Microsoft Edge browser. And then I use creative mode because the bot's personality is kind of funny and cheeky and it uses lots of emojis, which I love, although it is a little bit sassy sometimes too. You can get the other modes to draw pictures as well. And I've experimented with all three and I find the results are pretty similar. So it doesn't really matter which one you go with. What you need to do is drop in your rec room picture and ask the chat bot to describe it to you. Then you take the bot's own description and send it back to it and ask it to recreate a new drawing. And then this is where you can start having fun. You might want to alter the description if it didn't come out how you like, or you can even ask the bot to do the exact same character, but in different poses. It's good to be specific, but you can also be kind of vague and it will just give you a lot of different results that you can choose from. Now next, I really like to get different styles of the same character. So first up, I always ask the bot to recreate the same character, but in a cartoon kawaii pose. These results always come out really cute. And then just play around with different styles. Some I recommend anime, chibi, cottagecore, muppet, whatever you may be into. You can even get the bot to draw your character based on your favorite cartoon, like maybe Rick and Morty or The Simpsons or whatever else you may be into. And if you can't think of any other styles to try, you can actually ask the bot to recommend some or just throw out random styles to you. Once you've collected a bunch of drawings that you love, please turn them into a YouTube short and tag me so I can have a look at what you created. Now, you'll probably just wanna keep playing around with this bot and learn the ins and outs of creating the perfect prompt. Uh, sometimes my friends and I will make a game of it and try to come up with like the creepiest possible image or the funniest or whatever. For example, I tried this prompt. And these were the results. Seriously, you can just have endless fun with this chatbot. Now, if this is the only one you wanna try out, that's cool. Save your images in a folder until later in this video because I'm going to show you how you can animate them for free. But first, we're going to do this exact same process in a paid AI bot. I'll be using Midjourney because I have a paid subscription through Discord. I think sometimes Midjourney offers free trials. They're not doing that at the moment. I don't know why. So in Discord, you go through the same process of asking Midjourney to describe your original image, just forward slash describe and then pasting the picture. Midjourney is a lot more detailed than Bing, of course, and it will give you four different descriptions. So you just pick the one that you think will work the best, or you can even mix and match them. I 
I also like to switch descriptions from different bots, so I'll put the mid-journey description into Bing and vice versa. I actually find mid-journey does a really good job with the prompt from Bing for some reason, like even better than its own description. So there is a lot more you can learn about mid-journey. If anyone's interested, I am totally happy to make a mid-journey tutorial, but there are lots on YouTube already. So after playing around for a little while and getting different variations and then upscaling them, I have a few of my favorites saved. So let's pick one from Midjourney and one from Bing so I can show you how to use AI to animate them. You need to join the Picker Discord. Now I have links below, but this Discord is completely free and it should be because it's early days and it's not very good yet, but it's still kind of fun and it gives you an idea of what's possible already. So what you have to do is choose one of the generate channels. I usually go with number five because for some reason it's less busy. And then forward slash create and then put in your prompt. And this is going to be whatever you want happening in the image you already have. So I'm just going to type in hair is blowing gently in the wind and then paste in the picture. And then you just have to wait your turn. Now this whole Discord server is kind of busy, so it can take a couple of minutes to generate your animation. So just be patient like it says. And there you have it, a little animated character. And let's do the same thing for the free Bing cartoon too. And there you have it. So what I've done now is I took all of my favorite pictures and asked an actual real life artist to turn it into a VTube model so that whenever I stream on YouTube while playing other games besides Rec Room, I can take laser bits with me and still be recognizable. And here she is, or here I am. Hi, very cool, right? So what I'm hoping to do is to just start streaming a little bit more regularly while playing other games besides Rec Room. And then if it's something that I really enjoy, I would probably pay a professional artist to make a more detailed, realistic VTube model. But for now, this is just perfect. Now, if you have any questions about any of the AI tools I used or any of the VTuber tools I've used, let me know. I will get back to you as soon as I can or I'll create a more detailed tutorial about any of these things as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like and leave a comment and I will see you next time.